NBC 15 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, the holiday rush is on. We'll take a look at travel conditions across the country. Plus, Greg Gard takes the court tonight for the first time as the Badgers men's basketball head coach. And a seven-year-old in New Jersey calls 911 when she thinks she's going to get in trouble with Santa. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Matthews. Christina's off today. Rain is in our forecast all day, but expect some pretty mild temperatures, especially for the end of December. Charlie is in now with a look at today's forecast and a little bit breezier tomorrow, uh, later today, right, Charlie? Yeah, that's what it looks like. The wind will gradually notch up through the afternoon and then really kick in tonight after our low clears us to the north and east. Uh, cooler air rushing in behind it on uh, strong westerly winds overnight. But uh, today, as you said, quite a bit of rain. We'll get a few breaks here and there, but uh, there is going to be rain through the midday, afternoon, this evening. Things should be winding down around midnight or maybe a little before. Uh, and then the clouds will break a bit and should have a little sunshine coming in tomorrow. But as I said, the wind is going to kick in tonight. We do have a wind advisory in place from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. tomorrow. We'll detail that for you. Plus, of course, we'll look ahead uh, through the Christmas forecast. And we'll do that all coming up in about 10 minutes. Charlie, thank you. New at 11, a reminder from Janesville police to keep your doors locked even when you're home. Officials say a robber walked right into a home near Labrador Drive early this morning, stole the residents' car keys, and drove away with their car. This all happened while the residents were sleeping. Police are asking you to always report any suspicious vehicles or people you see in your neighborhood. More holiday travelers are predicted this year than... Ever before, AAA is projecting the number of year-end holiday travelers will top 100 million for the first time on record. Prices way down and the road and in the air. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez reports. This morning, the rush is on. It seemed a lot busier. Nearly one in three Americans will take a trip this holiday season. How many miles? We're probably driving about uh, 1,200. More than 100 million expected to travel 50 miles or more. That's 1.4% higher than last year. We live in Tennessee. His mom's in Stewart, Florida. If we're going home for a week, then we're going to go to Indianapolis, where the grandkids are at for a week, and then we're going to go to Texas. The more hectic holiday hustle driven by rising incomes and low gas prices. For the first time in six years, regular unleaded, averaging under $2 a gallon. The lowest in Lubbock, Texas, $1.64. The highest in Orange County, California, $2.90. It's less out of my pocket, that's for sure. Airfares for the top 40 domestic routes are 6% lower this holiday season, averaging $174 round trip. But the price of hotels and rental cars is up slightly. And that was Gabe Gutierrez reporting. Experts say the worst time to travel will be between 3 and 6 p.m. They say Sunday is also a bad idea. A center that focuses on clean energy research will continue operating at UW-Madison. This after it received a $3.5 million grant from the school's research foundation. The grant to the Wisconsin Energy Institute was announced yesterday. It's a stopgap measure after state lawmakers passed a budget that removed funding for the institute. The university says the money from the Alumni Research Foundation is part of a larger $20 million donation that largely funds information technology projects. New Badgers head coach Greg Gard will make his debut tonight. He's taking over as interim coach after Bo Ryan retired following their last game. Gard will look to avoid being swept by in-state teams as they take on UW-Green Bay tonight. That game starts at 8 o'clock. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers made an appearance on a popular YouTube channel. Rodgers starred on Dude Perfect, where guys perform trick shots. It's really neat. Check it out. What's going on? What up, All right, let's get started. This is the easy opener. Oh, nice. easy opener. All right, you're going to hit this target right here. It's going to knock the hand, hit the bowling ball, and reveal a balloon target. The yeah. double shot. Double shot. Oh, That's the secret to the balloon pop. Just a little tack ball. You ever throw these? I have not. This is the chain reaction shot. Let's do this. We got to
You just never get sick of watching that. It's so impressive. We put a link to the full video on our website, NBC15.com, under news links. Now to an adorable story out of New Jersey. A seven-year-old girl called 911 in a panic when she did something that she thought would get her in trouble with Santa. NBC's Brian Thomas talked to the little girl about her elf emergency. That will go this way. Izzy, Isabella, points to the two elves safely tucked in these stockings in the La Peruta living room. It was an emergency. I was very nervous. You see, somehow, one of the elves on a shelf ended up on the floor while Mom was sleeping, Izzy making a desperate call to 911. Hello? Hi, hi, Isabella. Why are you calling 911? Then suddenly, this little girl panicked. Don't come to my house, don't go. Okay. Her elf was in trouble. Yes, I was trying to call my dad, but he called you an accident. You could, you could just say you made a mistake, okay? She tells me now that she was throwing a ball and accidentally hit her elf. But police came to this door, worried that she was in real trouble. Mom, Lynn Ann, woke from sleep to see her daughter trying to shoo the cop away. She was hysterical crying. She was panicking. I didn't want to get in trouble. The officer radioed headquarters. 504 to headquarters. Okay, 504. Okay, Isabella apologized. She touched her elf on the shelf. She won't call 911 again. Police, with their own Christmas cheer to hand out, are understanding. To her, it was an emergency where she touched the elf and she's going to ruin Christmas. So that was her emergency. So she did right. In her mind, she did right, and it was fine with us. And Izzy learned her lesson with Santa. He knows I'm not going to do that again. She learned her lesson. That was really cute. That was Brian Thomas reporting.